So we were doing this uh, progress, and uh, I have to say from 1989, in the first two years I worked at University of Pennsylvania, every month I wrote a, a grant to get money to establish myself. I had a faculty position as a, a research assistant professor, which is non-tenured position, but you know I could have my own lab. But I didn't get any of those. I uh, tried to propose the RNA, how I would use circular RNA. Actually, in these days, they think it is a new thing. Of 92, I or 93, I already had grant, which was rejected. <laughs> um, I proposed that, and I did the circular RNA. I was um, uh, working hard to do the experiments, get, generating more data, but, uh, you know, it was... Uh, not sufficient. Uh, they were critical about that the RNA is labile, it wouldn't be useful, and I don't have enough uh, data. Sometimes they question that I don't have enough knowledge uh, to do these experiments. You know, I was um, always listening because, you know, share what I can do, not that they should accept my gr proposal. That's otherwise you would think they are dumb. No, they don't understand how great idea is. If I conclude that they don't understand, I have to say yes, because maybe I did not explain well. And so that I improve my writing, my colleagues look at there, you know, and, and did more experiments. And uh, But uh, at the university, there was a rule that if five years you are not establishing yourself in a faculty, you don't get money, then, then you have to be promoted or kicked out and demote removed from the faculty. And that's what happened to me in 1995.